Good morning. Welcome back again. Anybody has dropped so far? Planning to drop? This is your last chance. <coughs> cepat, cepat. Kau ingat kau pengantin awak tunggu kau? Okay, um, so for today's activity, we will be doing two things, okay? The first one, we're going to do the actual meant-to-be activity, which is the um, leaf area determination using two techniques, namely the uh, leaf area meter as well as the graph paper method. This, this looks so traditional. So old school, but it's a good practice. Have you done this before? No? no? Yes? No. Yeah. But since, well, maybe you did it in your school time, right? But this time, when you do this, the data that you get from this activity, you're going to use one of the statistical tests to see the relationship. Remember, we learned about relationship on Monday, the relationship of two variables. Yes. So we need to see relationship based on the leaf parameters. Okay. Parameters, variables, they are somewhat interchangeable. But think of it this way. Um, parameters are the things um, that you can measure. Height weight, number, variables are the things that you purposely change and then you measure it, okay? I know people get confused with those, those two terminologies somehow, but you'll, you'll see the definition intuitively um, uh, over the time. Okay, so the, I don't think this thing got pages. No? Just week three, okay? So when you're done with this, we will quickly um, do the second activity, which is germinating some seeds. Seeds, I think, should be corn seeds. This experiment is not meant to be for today, but it is for the coming weeks. You need to wait for the seedlings to grow so that you can do the progressive growth analysis. Remember the formula that you saw on Monday requires T1, T2, initial time and final time. That means it is a pro progressive data that you need to take, okay? So we're going to germinate earlier so that uh, if anything goes wrong somehow, we still got time to make amend, right? So let's start with um, leaf area. What, what leaf are we, are we using today? What, what leaf? What plant? Can, can, can I get a leaf? Leaf from the back. I mean, leaf too, me? Get, get a paper towel, this is wet. What leaf is this? Uh, Palmate. Palmate. What plant is this? What plant is this? Okay, what's the Latin name for this? I just asked this on Monday. What? What? 
S Q yang tak betul. Kasava, Sapiuka. Okay, this name. What kind of name is this? What is other name for it? Latin. Are there a name? Any other name? Botanical name. What about this? Common name. Any other way to call it? What else? Local name. True. Local name. What else? It starts with V. Remember you learned on Monday? It's not far away from now. Vernacular name. Please do not forget, you are still young. Make full use of your neurons and stuff. Okay, look at this leaf. This leaf, <coughs> it, it is actually a unit of leaf. Something like this. But due to the nature of where this plant was grown, evolution and stuff, adaptation, acclimation, the, the plant decides to cause cell death in certain area of the leaf. Okay, so this cell, cell death called apoptosis. So it decides to kill some of the region. Did it happen when, when this, this is big? No, it happens when, when it's still a baby, okay? So well, you will start to get something like this. Okay, so pretty much this is what happens um, during this apoptosis is happening, okay? I'll get another one. All right. Oh, that's not pretty. I'll make it prettier. Yeah, something like that. The similar story with your fingers, with your digits. When you were in the womb, you were a fetus, it's pretty much webbed, like duck feet. As you progress in months as a fetus, apoptosis or programmed cell death, program cell death, takes place, causing the tissue, some tissue to die off. So you start to get your digits and fingers okay so that's why you see some babies got condition where this is not properly split okay right so this is a unit of the leaf but it has got small subunit of the leaflet you can call it right morphologically this is called what kind of leaf morphology what is the shape of this leaf Palmate. Palmate because it looks like palm. Okay. Why it is important to know leaf area? Why? Why is it important? Understand one thing. This is an organ of a plant. Okay. Organs means it has got functions like you. Do you have organs? Yes. Okay. Any organs of yours that is similar to a leaf? Do you, do you have anything equivalent? What? You call leaf as an organ and you call yourself having organs as well. 
is there any similarity of your organs and leaf organ? Do you have one or many organs? Okay. Any any of your organs have similar function to leaf? Lung. Why lung? Exchange of gas. Well, roots make exchange of gas as well. Roots is breathing. Stem is breathing as well. Fruit is breathing. We're breathing. Skin. Um. Skin actually. What's the function of skin for you? It's a it's a barrier. It's the first line of defense actually. So. In a way, it is correct, but the skin doesn't end with just leaf because the stem got the skin, root got the skin as well. Yeah, this leaf has its own skin. It's called epidermal layer. You got epidermal layer as well. Anybody equivalent? I, I can give you a pass 100% if you somebody can answer this. <laughs> Anybody? <coughs> what? Blue? Clue? Clue? Um, it requires more than one organ. No, no, we are we're talking about organs. Organs. More than one organ to be equivalent to one leaf. Human, or I'm talking about human organs. Ah, tak dapat lah tu kira yang. Lemah. Think, think again. You have known the function of leaf for a very long time. What is the function of leaf? Photosynthesis. Can human photosynthesis? No. No. But can human store resources? Yes. Where? Yes. Stomach to digest. Liver. Liver. So the cells in here store up um, starches in the form of a myeloplast. Yeah, unfortunately, in humans, there are no equivalent photosynthetic cells which is similar to the plant. No. However, the plants, when you see a plant like this, it's not only manufacturing, but it's also storing up. We got something similar to that, like the liver cell. Store up glycogen. Plants store up starch. In the plants, carbohydrate store we call it starch in humans carbohydrate storage we call glycogen okay what's what's the other function of it the leaf look at that leaf area why why area is matter is of the matter now storage 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 we've done talking about storage now if it's less area, more area, will it benefit the plant or not? Yes. How? More food. More food. <laughs> I just said, uh, we have, we're done with a storage talking. You're talking about photosynthesis. What are the ingredients for photosynthesis? Sunlight. Sunlight. So this is actually the antenna light capture. So the more light the plants can capture, the more energy that the cells have to run photosynthesis. Because photosynthesis is not just one process. It's a combination of various reactions come together. Okay, And when you're talking about reactions, it means work. Work requires energy. Where does the energy come from? Can the plants eat? Nasi lemak and do photosynthesis. It doesn't have to. It can manufacture its own food. It's like you are sunbathing. Somehow you feel, oh, I just had Texas. 
somehow your body can make your own food, but you can't. But plant, they can do it. But to energize the process, this is needed. Radiation, interception. The organs that contains photosynthesizing cells needs to intercept radiation. Don't think radiation as the X-ray, that kind of thing. Radiation is any kind of light beam coming from a source. So we have the sun, sunshine. That's a form of radiation as well. Okay. So whenever you see this, remember we are talking about energy. And also we are talking about the quality of the radiation or the properties of the radiation. And this is related to the color. Energy. Energy we are related to the intensity. How strong or how weak the radiation is. Okay. Photon, which is the light particles. Can you can you see light? Oh, no, yes. Can you see light? Okay. Can you feel light? Put your hand by the window. Is it isn't that light? Sunshine. Sunshine light or not? Yes. So you can feel it. Can can light bounce bouncing? Reflected? Yes. Can light transmitted go through? Yes. Can light be absorbed? Yes. Okay. Can light be separated like in the case of prism? You got rainbow. Okay. Does light has a weight, a mass? It has got all these properties. You can see, you can touch it, you can play around with it. Does it have a mass? No, but you can see it. It has got properties. So does it have a mass or not? Why? Why not? How come something that has all the properties do not have any weight? Why? Ah, ah, ah. Not drop that, not drop that. It doesn't have what? It did the what? Speak up. I need to speak up. You need, you need to tell me clearly. What? This, this side, does it have a mass or not? Light? Cahaya ada berat tak? No, why? You can see it, you can feel it, you can play around with it. Why does it have it does does not have any weight or mass? Why? Take take a win. Can you see wind? Can you see wind? Wind. Can, can you can but can you fan your friend? Can can he feel the wind? If you fan the, the wind onto a scale at the back there, will the scale read anything? Yes. Yes. That scale is very sensitive. Yes. Okay. If you have the light and then you shine on the scale, will it have a weight? Light, you can see. You can see the laser. Wind, you cannot see. But wind will have a weight reading. So why light, you can see in the form of laser, you will not see any reading on the scale? Yes. So what does, that has to do with anything? Radiation is energy. Wind is energy as well. You know the windmill? Because of the energy, it can run the windmill. Uh, uh, I'll give you time to, to, to think and find out the answer. 
You want a clue? I can give a clue. Somebody who found the answer got Nobel Prize in 2015, I think? 2014? Yeah. Very, very old guy. I think... He's still alive. He lives in Scotland. All right. Okay. So the activity today, you need to measure this leaf area so that you can recall back your notes. You can get this. What is this? Leaf index one of the reason okay look at your manual so in your manual you got these various tables okay so you got table one which is um for you to jot down the weight area of the graph paper so even though it has got different tables each this table come in a set Meaning that you need to repeat this table again for the second method because you are quantifying the leaf area using two methods. The graph paper method and the leaf area machine method. Can you see the machine? That's the machine. L-A-M, leaf area meter. All right? So what do you need to do? It's quite simple actually. Where's the duster? It's quite simple. So let's talk about the first method of the leaf area, which is the graph paper. <coughs> Anybody have not seen this before? So your graph paper... You take your leaf, take your leaf, you have a few options. Either you want to trace the leaf silhouette onto the paper, or you can do what? What? Can I borrow a pencil? You can, you can do the shading from the back. <clears throat> Look at this leaf. It's, it's, it's very hard to deal with, right? Because it's kind of overlapping. So the good idea for this is actually to remove this individual leaf. And then at the end, add up everything together. So take one leaf. Don't throw away. So you can... Do the sketching, something like that, or do the tracing. Uh-huh. Got it right. You can see from the back even. Okay. So, after you have got all the tracing, then you need to do for the rest of the leaflet. Okay? And using this technique, determine what is the leaf area. Okay? For that to happen, please identify what is the measurement for each of these small squares in the graph paper. Can I borrow a ruler? So your graph paper, you got the big squares and the small squares. So the big squares, that is about 2 centimeters, and then the small squares is about 1 millimeter. Okay? So that is your leaflet, and that would be your squares. Let's see that that is your squares. So how do you quantify it? Look at this. 
this this is filled 1 mm 1 mm so this becomes 1 square millimeter what about here so it becomes like this so this is more than half so you regard it as 1 1 mm 1 mm so this is as well 1 millimeter square what about this this is less than half so this is not one millimeter square regard it as zero okay as simple as that i don't ask you to look at this one millimeter you can go for the bigger which is two two cm by the two cm okay so calculate all of this add up everything for the leaflet one two three four five six you don't have to um, detach the leaflet some of the tapioca leaf they behave decently everything stay on the place like this so you can do the tracing um if you want to do the tracing all in one go you can anybody got tape sell tape i think i got a tape do i have a tape i should have a tape right Oops. Uh, a little trick. When you're dealing with leaf and you want to do the tracing technique, trace from the underside of the leaf, not the upper side, because the upper side, the, the vein structure is not prominent. The upper side of the leaf, how do you call it? So this is the leaf, this is the up, and this is the, the, the down. The upper side of the leaf, we call it a dexil. The downside of the leaf, we call it a dexil. That's the scientific way to call it. All right. So to do the tracing, use the a dexil. Usually it's, it's much easier because the leaf mid rib is more prominent on this side. So you can use the, the tape if you want to secure everything on place. You can use your creativity, okay? I don't have to teach you this. Or maybe you want to use your friend because he's heavy. That can happen as well. And start tracing. Dia selalu kan, bila aku buat jadi cantik, bila kau buat, mesti kau jadi buruk-buruk. Why ya? Tada! Can you count the leaf area now? Easy. Right? Okay. So this is the first method. So once you got it, look back at this table. Start to fill in the, I think table, let me see. Table three. Table three. <clears throat> table three, okay. Each group, please deal with at least three leaf. Because this is, we are doing statistics, okay. In statistics, you need the minimum of three. Not three leaflet. Three palmate leaves. Minimum. Even better, you got five and more. All right? This is one. So this data, put it into table three. And, yeah. You know what? I think before you start, um, <coughs> you start do all the tracing and shading. Let me see this table one.
Mm. I think you need to weigh it first. So this is meant for table one. You need to weigh it first because if you do the tracing and then do, do the weighing, that is a bit incorrect because some of the tissue might has, you know, come out from, from the leaf. So weigh the leaf first, the fresh weight. If it's wet like this, get the paper towel from the roller on the side, okay? Dab it, dry, and then weigh it. Put down the weigh, X, and then the length of it. How do you define the length? This length. I didn't write this thing, okay? But I think I, I, I know what, what this, this um, the, the, the writer wants to do with this activity. So this is the length of it. The dimension, length width. So this will be the length up to this point, okay? Don't count this, this is the petiole. So this will be the length. This would be the widest side of it would be the width. Width. What else that it requires? Area. Area is just the length times width. And then area by overweight. This area by weight. Okay, so that is for table one. And let's see, what is this table two? Weight area by calculation. Hmm. You know what? I think you can ignore table number two because I think it's kind of repeating table number one, number one in some way. Ignore table number two for now. Then go straight to table number three. And finally, table number four. Okay, table number four, leaf perimeter. This thing is very easy. Anybody want to use straight away? No need, no need to um, do the demonstration. We use this machine, it's called leaf area meter. <laughs> Apa kata kau bawa tunjuk kali perimeter tu kat sini? Bawa benda tu. Okay, number one, it's just a good practice. You need to clean up first, actually. But I think this is this is kind of okay. This machine is already like what older than you? Yes. Yeah. We we should be having a, a newer machine. Right. Okay. Number one, you need to tear it. Tear it meaning you re-zero it. How do you re-zero? Reset this button here. But one, why won't it reset? Broken. No. Kenapa dia tak nak reset? Ni pun dah, dah, dah broken. Dia reset tapi aku kena hold it. Kenapa tak mampu? Ah, okay, okay. Again, if you think your palmate leaf is kind of overlapping in nature, it doesn't hurt to remove to do by leaflet. Okay? Make it everything flat. Then you'll get the reading which is 74.65 square centimeter. And then this is adding up, okay? If you don't reset it, if you put new leaf, it will add up. Zzz. Easy. Okay, once you got it, go to the table four and start to filling up all the data. All right, okay? So for, for, for the first one hour, this one hour, this is the activity, okay? Before we move to the second activity, which is just the sewing. Now we're done with it today. All right, okay, that's all for now. Any question? No? All right, okay. So um, we got two machines. Get your graph paper, get your leaf, and then spread out, spread out. You need oxygen. I need oxygen. Uh.
You know, my mathematical mental calculation is very fast. Get the leaf, you found the leaf, the tissue is over there. <coughs> I suggest each person at least do one leaf so that everybody got experience. Okay? Get your tracing paper, oh no, graph paper. Afiq, buka lampu sana. Gelap. Do you have any onion growing in the office? Can you bring some onion leaf over here? Some leaf. Maybe potong nila? Nah, make the Make the Hmm. Abi dapat macam mana? Kita, kita, kita lagi tak boleh buat kat lab ini. Takut nanti doktor buat apa nature kan? Apa? Uh, masih buat. Bagi dia masih lah. Okey. Uh, okay. okay. Takut doktor akan cakap tiba-tiba dia masuk kan. Tak uh, sempat lah. Dia, dia datang lah ke? Tak apa. Activity um, sewing tu. Sebab tu aku bagi saya cepat. So, dia orang akan finish dalam satu jam. Bila dia semua boleh terus semai. Siap balik rumah. Eh, Umar, Umar Rani apa? Abi Abi Eda tak nak datang? Dr. Eda tu buat uh, pasir di hari dia. Dia buat tu. Dr. Eda dia tak buat benda ni? <laughs> nah, kenapa tak buat sekali? Hanna dah tanya. Tapi dia kata... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Padahal benda ni belajar dalam kuliah lah. Uh, lagi lah. Hmm. Jangan dia lagi. Kita tak, kita tak boleh macam tu. Bila budak dah belajar teori, kita bagi dia punya hands on practical. Uh. Dia dah orang tu saya tahu. Biarlah dia, 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 dia. Dia nak, dia, baru esok dia, 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 Kadang lecturer ni dia jadi malas sebab dia tahu GRA dia tu ada. Aku ada, aku ada RA pun tak guna kena buat macam ni. <laughs> <laughs> aku suruh apa, apa kau buat. <laughs> so dia dia buat germination je? Dia kena, dia kena efficient macam aku. Buat dua-dua sekali. <laughs> Cepat habis. <laughs> Makin lambat lah kot. Ya, yeah, patutnya aku nak buat pengen lepas kan. Tiba-tiba ada ni tambah ah, ramai. Lah. Tak apa, tak apa. Um, kalau dia orang datang nanti, aku rasa dia orang ni dah settle. So, tak aku cepat. So, aku apa? Tadi kita mula 8.40an. Please finish by 9.40. Because other groups will come and take over the machine. Both machines, the weighing skills and also the lift parameter. Except bro Eda Seb Sebab tak tahu dia nak apa sebenarnya dalam hidup <laughs> tak, My group dia akan jadi gila lah sebab Buat sepuluh kali Why wait? Why wait? Ya yeah. 
BSP Bersama Semenan ni Baru masuk So Satu grup lima orang kan Five or six Five or six Six lah Six Six is fine Five or six Five as well It does Class It doesn't matter for your group If your Some of you Different program You can mix With BSP and horticulture Okay Do you think I care? Okay. <laughs> so, so what? What? Let's see the, the botanica. So, um, apa yang jadi tengah tu? Reference should be. Reference. I think I need to tengok satu balik. Jadi so I I'm not following. Yeah, tak bagi. Borang borang ni pun tak dia bagi ke dulu? Ah, dah dah bagi dah. Borang dia dah bagi dah. So I need to do. Format apa yang tak ikut ni? Nah, ni saya tak pasti Sebab ni title I use short punya title instead of Maksud dia nak guna the running head punya title tak? Meaning sama Running running title is the long long title Ah Running title is the running head is the short one Ya Apa maksud dia? Dia nak dua-dua sama lah kan? Because running title equals to running head I think I think um they just bagi tahu this thing is synonym So I, so I don't need to create a short title lah. No, no, no. You need to create a short title. Uh huh. But just stand, standardize, standardize saja. Sebab manuscript title is the long title. Uh huh. Writing title apparently sama masuk dengan running head. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Manuscript title, long title. This one is short. And then got the de declaration ah, form, yeah, which yeah. is then oh. okay. what else? Otis of Orchid Lane. I think it is more ideal. So just just follow your bullet too. Um. Are there a piece of what? Can you find it? Oh, uh, nice. Let's see whether benda ni sensitif tak nak guna ni. Oh ni. Bagi, ada satu extra kan? Satu extra bagi aku untuk aku tunjuk. Boleh ya? Boleh ya ni? Ha. Ui berat. Benih kacang. Kacang pula. Um, groups on the, the isolated island come here. Cepatlah nanti group lain datang. Come here. Boleh tak aku panggil tu bangkit datang terus nak tengok benda ni? Okay, this shouldn't take very long, very complicated. You should be able to finish this under 10 minutes, like literally. So this is for your growth analysis. The, the idea is you need to grow this for a few weeks. Each week, 
after the, the, the seeds have germinated, you're going to harvest the seedlings and then you're going to get the dry weight of it, the fresh weight and the dry weight. So for two or three consecutive uh, weeks. Remember the formula that you saw on Monday, it requires T1, T2. Okay, so the seeds that you're going to use, what is of this? The Uzi maize. Kenapa Uzi maize color pink? Dia punya apa? Ah, apa nama racun dia? Antifungi. You call it antifungi. Fungi side. Fungi side. What's the name of the brand? Shop Power. It's called. Tira. Okay. You know that this is rachud. Please wash your hand after this, okay? Because you don't have a glove on you. Okay. So get this. You need to divide it into three grooves. One, two. Oh, that's two. How to make it three? This way. Uh, 30 by. There's a nice. What do you about? We need to have 30 seats nicely placed in this tray because each week you need to harvest 10 seedlings. Okay. If you manage to finish at the week number two, then that's good. If it's not good, at least you got the extra 10 seedlings for the coming week. Okay. Pernah grow corn. Uh, so this should be easier. If your soil is, this is just a sand, if it's dry, please add some water, <coughs> okay? Put the groove, divide this into three, three island, maybe this is one, let's see. That's about 20, that's about 10, 30, about 10 cm, yeah, it's around here. Stand around here. Yeah. So, week one, week two, week three. Each sec section have ten seats. Okay. You're going to place this outside, so better to dig a, a big hole to put into this. Okay. How do you water this? Spray. Spray. Do you have the spray? It might be a good idea to create a hole at the at the corner here. One here, one here, or maybe one here, maybe one here. Put the water in and then start to swirl this thing around. So the water will fill in um, homogeneously throughout the media. Then once, once you're done, you got, you're going to get this um, plastic film. Please label, okay? This is one, two, three. Use this plastic film and wrap it. Label it. Because this is corn, you might want to come and check this regularly. So, this is very stretchy, very easy. Why we do this? To, to, to create humidity, but you just water the plant, the, the, the soil. Takut orang ambil. We want to create a high humidity so that the, because you're going to place this outside, 
it's going it's not going to get desiccated easily the surface of the soil because that's going to kill the, the seedling okay and then poke some holes don't just some enough table it put it where Peter, I mean. uh, I'll, I'll show you some somebody bring that Okay. Actually, you got two sides. Here, I think better here. So you have all the space to yourself. Please label and put that jangan jalan macam pengantin because you are not one yet. And nobody wants to open the other side of the door. Ada cukup lah tu, kalau tu. Cepat, 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 cepat. The other girl is coming. Okay, so you're going to place this over here. Full of sunlight, right? So someone from the group needs to come to check on your plants, to water it, to make sure that it's germinating properly. Right. The moment it has started to germinate, you can remove this. Okay. Yeah, this is corn. Maybe after four days or so, right? Okay. If some, somehow it gets bitten, you need to tell me. Okay, we'll, we'll come uh, ask somebody to spray uh, pest control to it. Okay, we'll try to do this for two weeks. If it doesn't work, three weeks. All right, okay. What happens if this dead? Ah, zero mark lah jawabnya. Uh -huh. This is mark, okay. This is mark. Ah, itu je. Anda, go. Do it. Kemana ni datang ke? Dia kat luar ke? Ada budak-budak dia ada? Kau dah tak ada student lah. Which is a very unlucky. Tak ada pun. Kau tipu aku. Dah lari. Please do this quickly before yeah. other groups come in. Okay. Um, after you're done, you're tidy up. You can go back home. Okay. I will say this one more time. Okay. Final reminder. It seems like you're still not creating the groups in the OneDrive folder. Only two groups. Even the groups who created that still do not put in the group names list. From now on, I'm not going to remind again. I'll just start deducting mark mentally. One, one. Tiba-tiba kan at the end of the semester, mark aku hilang 20. Ah, because of this. Bila aku suruh, aku tak buat. Okay dah, tak nak remind dah. Bye. Can you wrap, wrap up this? Can you use uh, student data? Ni diorang punya ke?